Hi guys, let's do the assembly, test and the review of this awesome 3D printer. The biggest 3D printer you can get under $400. Let's first do the unboxing. Here we can see the, all the parts inside. Inside the box, nothing came damaged, which is always good. And my first expression was, wow, this 3D printer is very huge. And the second thought was, this is almost pre-assembled, even better. Here we can see the, all the parts, including almost pre-assembled the printer instruction, micro SD card, the main box power supply with a motherboard inside and everything. And this printer also comes with some, uh, some PLA and the tools, which is awesome. Some close-up detail here to show you how this thing looks. Here is some uh, instruction that came. Here we can see some quick start part list and the most important this small USB card on which you're gonna find this couple of folders and inside you're gonna find every single thing that you need to assembly, troubleshooting, setup, settings and everything what you need to master the 3D print. Time to build.
What I really like about this printer is that it came with this uh, glass uh, sheet over the heat bed. So it's very easy to just take out the glass with the whole model, take it out, clean it, uh, retape it and put it back on. Which keeps uh, risk of uh, misaligning your bed minimal possible. After assembly your 3D printer, make sure that you first, before you hit that auto home button, make sure that uh, all the X, I and Z movements are actually correct, as well as all the stop switches are installed properly. If you just hit the auto home button, you risk that your printer just go to different direction or even don't, don't even stop when it should be, which can uh, lead to uh, breaking the printer parts. Uh, ripping the belts off, even, even damage the engines. So make sure that all movements are correct and everything is fine before you hit that auto button. Especially the distance between the nozzle and the heat bed. Uh, let's say if you just uh, if you just click on it at home and even if uh, ZX switches are on and uh, your printer will go much more down than it should be which can uh, damage the nozzle or even some other parts on the 3D printer, especially the motors. All right, fully assembled. Let's do our first test print. My first test print uh, is always a test cube, 20 by 20, 0 0.2 layer height, 2 layer stick for a 0.4 mm nozzle, and that gives you a pretty good picture about how your prints will look like. So when I satisfied with the quality about this cube, then I continue to do more and more prints. If I'm not, then I go back to the print leveling and settings until I find the perfect settings for this printer. I gotta say, it's look pretty good for now. Let's do the next sprint and that's Pikachu. So far so good, Pikachu look nice. Now let's print something to compare the Troxy for example, my previous 3D printer that I use and review. So let's print this, uh, this flower pot or vase on the same settings under the same condition in the same filament. Well definitely CR10 gives better results. If you look carefully here we can definitely see that the layer is perfectly nice and and the flat and if you look on the trunk seat there is clearly some degradation in quality so definitely CR10 is a better and now it's time to test something on the full height let's print a rocket 400 millimeters tall After 15 hours, this is the result. Even at 0.2 resolution, this rocket looks awesome. Even on the full height, which is 400 mm, this rocket looks amazing.
I'm really impressed with this quality. This is a macro close-up shot in the middle of the rocket. I mean, look at these layers, they are perfect. Let's I talk about it. the build quality for a minute. This print has a full metal frame, which is very heavy and strong. Industrially designed, and it used totally different technology for movement. For example, there is no linear bearings on this printer. They are all roller bearings, which is more stable, stronger, and it, it can last a very, very long time. Because there is no friction on it, it's just rolling. I think these rollers will last practically forever and they are totally silent. And the only noise for, for this printer is from the fan inside the power supply. And there is something more what I like about this printer. And that is options to change filament while printing. So in the middle of the print, multiple times, you can stop the printing, change the filament, and continue to printing at the same height, in the same spot. So what if that gives you, that gives you opportunity to print multicolor print without need to change the G-code. So just pick up the object that you want to print, stop where you want, change the filament, continue to print and do how many times that you want and you can get pretty nice results even with, uh, without any changing of G-code or buying the expensive printers and so on and so on. and some more details about how this thing looks on every side so you get every detail how does it look, how it is made and what part contains and I already modified uh, the side fan uh, duck nozzle to hit exactly the tip of the nozzle so I just make it a little bit longer and that improves the print, the print quality by blowing the air in the right direction the original one was a little bit short and not hit exactly the angle where it should be. So I will put the link in the video description so you can find it, download and 3D print it and just replace it. It looks exactly like the original one, just like I said, a little bit longer. And it hits at the right angle, the tip of the nozzle. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm gonna try to make it more. Thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to purchase this printer, I'm going to put video in the video description so you can just click on it and order it. I definitely like this printer, like I said, and I'm going to continue to use it. And it's awesomely built, fast, durable and stable. Definitely can make some huge 3D objects. Take care guys and good luck with your printing. Bye bye.